y'all, it's Tabitha from Flapjack and I just want to share with you how to play my PowerPoint math games. To begin, you want to get it started in slideshow mode. If you're in home, you might have this option right here. If not, you can click on slideshow in the toolbar and then click on from start. From here, you would click on the start picture right here or if you're playing a Spanish game, it'll say Inicio. And here you have kind of the landing page that students will always go back to and they just choose a random object and it will take them to a random problem. They solve the problem on this board which will either take them to the correct page or the incorrect page. Now if you like using individual whiteboards, which I love doing, you can also in a whole group setting have students solve the problems individually on their whiteboards and then if you have one person going to the smart board or whiteboard, they can then share their answer with that person. And the person can also um, do, do the work and then look at those boards and see if it matches up before deciding an answer to pick. Now, one neat addition to this game, if you can see, is that there's a recording sheet. So when you click on that, it's always the last slide of the file. Then you need to X out, go to file and print and you can make copies for your students. If you do this in a whole group setting, I often have my kids gather around the smart board on the carpet and they can actually uh, work the problems as we go through the files and I'll let one student go and actually do the problem on the board while the rest of the students solve. Now as far as which number that they do their work in, it all depends on which slide is chosen. So for example, this one is number 19, so they would do the work in the 19 box. Then, if they're correct, what they will do is color in whatever image is there. If they're not correct, they leave it alone, and I try to encourage them to be honest because you can use this as a formative assessment to kind of see where your students are at with the skills of the game. Now, if you really don't like the random start page and you just wanna go through the slides as they are in order, you will need to do a little bit of tweaking. I've kind of stopped some slides where you can't really advance on those slides because I had problems with kids accidentally touching the slide and the answer popping up or it going to the next slide. So in order to get it back into a normal presentation where the slides advance as you click, you will need to go to transitions right here. And then from there you will go to on mouse click and then you will click on all slides and then you would just go to the slide page if you wanted to delete it you could or if not just start right here go back to slideshow from current slide and then you can just begin to go through all of the problems like that these games are really great to put in small centers if you're fortunate enough to have a computer or two in your room you can put a folder of these games in there and as you're going through the skills and you've covered the game in a whole group setting then you could place it in a center for students to go back and review again in the centers also i've come across this really neat app on my phone and it seems to work on ipods and ipads i'm not sure about other kinds of tablets but it's called slide shark it's free but you they only give you enough space to upload about four games so i'm thinking i might have to do like separate accounts and students would sign in username and password to access different types of games you can pay to have more space but it's about like a hundred bucks a year but as you can see it's really neat it works just like um, the smart the interactive whiteboard all the animations work it goes right back where it needs to and it just looks so cute on the um, device like that so I'm excited to explore this option and that's something you might consider too if you have an iPad or iPod in your classroom so that's it if you're interested in these games um, just check out the links down in the description box of where you can find these I have them available in English and Spanish. They're super fun. And I'm sure your kids will love them too. Thanks so much for stopping by Flapjack. I hope you'll subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye.